what started for me about 29, 30 years ago. I moved here in June of 1982. Next year will be 28 years. We moved in on Halloween day of, of uh, 87. 30 some years. It's uh, literally half my life. I really enjoy my life here. I still do very much. I feel as if my roots are here. You know, these are my neighbors, these are uh, my friends, you know, people that I've known for years. It's safe, it's quiet, I like it. It's a, a sense of belonging, it's uh, knowing everybody. It's a good family feeling, yeah. It, it's a good stability. I want to stay here for a while longer. We have a, a I, I'm quite proud of it, a very nice home, you know, well-maintained without the really heavy responsibility of having to maintain it. Some of the units are subsidized and I could not exist without a subsidy. So where else would I get a subsidy? I think it's wonderful that they can walk out their door and it gives them independence. Co-ops are supposed to be communities and communities are all, all shapes and sizes and ages and again uh, for a lot of uh, co-op members, it's a lifelong choice. There's things older people know that they don't even know they know. It's just breathing to them. Even if we don't remember it all, we know where to look for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they bring in their uh, expertise, their knowledge and stuff like that. We can even be here to tell people what, what we expected when we first moved in what we thought co-op was going to do and what it was going to be. I've been a part of something bigger and I've enjoyed that part. That sort of keeps you going every day. You know, it's not just what you can get, it's what you're needed for. You know, is there things we can do for to make their life a little easier? I've had to make um, accommodation. I mean, I had safety bars put in the bathroom. Wheelchair accessible uh, units, lever uh, door handles, storm doors. They want to know that uh, that part of their operating funds are going towards their needs. Last year, I was able to move to a one bedroom. And I realize how fortunate that I am because not everyone has that option in a co-op where they can downsize. I think if people have a conversation around it, I think that's where it needs to start. Now we've got the baby boomers. Aging in place is definitely one of those uh, specific needs that need to be addressed. There are multiple seniors showing up everywhere, right? So they have to have good housing. I'm sorry, in the long run, you're gonna have more and more people who are aging. And the ones that decide they're gonna stay here, they're aging in place. Get used to it.